I've been watching this shit all day today too. I was trying to figure out like why Fresh and Fit got demonetized from YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I found out a lot more information as well. Like they were like the top 10 in the United States uh, most super chatted YouTube channel. Damn. Damn. Top 10. They're going crazy. Yes. So I know why he was crying. And I heard Damn. about 50, <laughs> something around 50,000 a month in super chats. Jeez. That is like, yes. boot, man. Chilly. Why'd they get demonetized? Well, everybody is having theories of basically, you know, they had Nick Fuentes on there. Mm. Nick Fuentes and and Nick Fuentes is there when black women are there. He's saying that black people are less intelligent, um, you know, than white people. And they had him even say the N-word on there. You feel me? Oh, like people right. was pumping them up. That's out. You know what I'm saying? And there's a bunch of like other little things that I've seen. That's happening, but I was like, man, that's a wake up call, bro. When it comes down to this content and what everybody else is doing, because I'm like, man, at the end of the day, YouTube is not playing, man. Mm. YouTube is not playing. And when you get demonetized, yeah, it's like a hit. This is my, it's my as well as over then, right? Delete your it's not shit. over. Eject your shit. No, because they got, they got a deal with Rumble and, you know, but like, People don't really. That's Rumble though. That's not YouTube. No, you still. Got, that's but your crazy. but your main core comes from YouTube. So even if you demonetize, you still you can't t get a, get away from your main core. I'm pretty that's sure they're gonna still have to stream on YouTube. They just won't get paid from it. Yeah, that's crazy. Damn. That's where most of their money come in. I mean, they nigga, if you got fifty, if you was making almost fifty k in super chats, nigga, so, a month. So you go from 50K to not making nothing. What are you doing it for? They can throw, they can throw something else they up there, right? They gotta be crying on that bitch every day. Y'all oh, be, yeah. this nigga crying so, again? I said they can put something else up there to get their money. No, Cash they can put like, yeah, you can get something to get donations and shit too, yeah. but. It just, just won't come through YouTube, which, what you saying? Yeah, so no no, no advertising. So they, you know, they've been dropped from the um, partner program. Wait, can they even still stream though? They can still stream though. Well, they were saying that it's a possibility that they may only, might not be able to even do that. That's lie. what I said. So it's like a half and half thing seat, right now. Because even when they made the announcement, they turned the Super Chats off. And I was watching the academic stream. He showed that they were still in the top 10 of most Super Chat um, YouTubers. Damn. Like, that shit is wild. What was their point of having Nick uh, Fuentes on there? Bro, honestly... Yeah, they should have known. And was that was was that alone is what got them to monetize? I don't think it was. It was. It was a. It's. It's. A, it's a bunch of other things. I feel like, honestly, them having Nick Fuentes on there, like, the Jewish community don't fuck with him at all. You know what I'm saying? He's a Holocaust denier, all of the above. I feel like they got him out the paint. Like anybody that's platforming him, because he's banned, bro, from like all platforms. Mm. He's on a no fly list. Tough. All type of shit, bro. God so damn. So it's a lot of people, like, a lot of these people, you know what I'm saying? Nick Fuentes is in the... Yeah, so they brought him on for the cloud. Andrew Tate's, the Sneakos. Oh, yeah, There's a the lot cloud. of motherfuckers so, that... So they brought him on for the cloud. Definitely. Ba basically. And, and, and now your chili gone. They fuck around and find out. Shame on you, niggas. I mean... What you get? As a platform... It ain't worth it. As a platform owned by minorities, being on... So it's over that. Y'all right already been booming. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure... They don't. Better. They don't know what exactly did it, but I think that's exactly what probably did it. That probably, probably. played a part in it too. Anybody sure. that's that, platform yeah. Nick Fuentes, they've had possibly they've had uh, hit pieces, dro shit dropped, all type of shit when it came down to that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but you gotta no having having somebody as controversial on a on YouTube can do that. Shit. No, so no, no. That's now, a fucking no, no. Nick Fuentes is like fuck that. Look at these niggas. This shit is yeah, bro. But it's it's an eye opener though because you don't we don't never really think like like oh okay like you can lose all of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we know like oh we don't want to get no strikes and everything like that. But it's like nigga, if they want to, they could be like nigga, fuck it, cut your water off. Fuck around, do some for shit for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Fuck around, do some shit. You don't regret, man. That's probably that's they get probably the pain that, fast. that probably went that probably went against most of their audience though. Like, see, yeah. and I see people. I'm, I see people in here saying freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying? I mean, no. there's no such thing as freedom of speech when you're on private platforms. You know what I mean? Like I had this. I had this. Um, Imagine if you could use freedom of speech on platforms. Oh man! 
should be wild. <laughs> this should be wild. This should be completely wild. I had uh, this um I had this conversation with Flacco before. No, more. Yeah. no, that's what I'm saying. But these are <laughs> these are private entities, bro, mm-hmm. that you're signing terms and agreements that you're gonna basically follow the rules and shit like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? We not looking at them. We're not saying print. what it is, but we can't complain if we go into these fucking platforms and using this shit. It's day rules. You know what I'm saying? But I, like I said, I was having this conversation with Flacco. Flacco was saying like at a time he wanted, to, oh, we need to tear down Spotify and Apple Music and all of these companies when it comes down to music. And I said, okay, where's your shit going to live at then? You know what I mean? Like when you drop an album, when an artist drop an album, where the fuck is it going to go Niggas if you want to tear down... All of this shit. Niggas tried that. That's what I'm saying. And niggas didn't support that. Yeah. Niggas but, tried it. Nigga Jay-Z even nigga I'm pushed saying. the line with title. Niggas didn't buy a title. Niggas came in and nigga, that shit didn't work out. How many niggas you know got title? I and did. and they pay the motherfucking artists more I than did. any other platforms. I got title. You got title for real? Yeah. What's your go-to when wow. you listen to music though? I, I listen to like all the oldies on title. I'm saying like what's your go-to? Your go-to is go straight oh, to title? Oh, it's Apple. It's, it's Apple Music. Apple? Yeah. But I got I got a title just to support, you know. Support it. That's real though. You support it. I don't know why my go to is Spotify though. Like I, I always go to my Spotify. go. My go to is Apple Music. Yeah, Apple, yeah, I go music. To Apple music. That's my music. I always go to Spotify. I'm like, dog, how the fuck do I always end up on Spotify over Apple? I do like Spotify trend, like the way it transitions between songs. That shit is way smooth. I like the song it's discovery nice. on Spotify better. But as far as just like user a user user friendly Apple Music. Yeah, yeah the interface right. is better than Apple Music. It just mm-hmm. But in terms of freedom of speech, like, to what limits does it go, though? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm all for freedom of speech, but at the exact same time, hate speech can be so right. detrimental to people's mind states. That's you, freedom you of speech, though. Yeah, of course. That's free. It, yeah. it is. Freedom of speech means I can say anything that I want to fucking yeah, but say. It's, it's, a, yeah. it's a gray area, Without man. being penalized. It's a gray area. Can motherfuckers handle freedom of speech? Hell no. Hell bro. fucking no. Nope. Do you Especially not these do you days. think do you think any anything that goes against a race should be platformed? No. Nah, nah, no. Bro. That's what I'm saying. So we really don't want freedom of speech. There's too many motherfuckers, bro. That they, there's too many people that can say the wrong thing and incite the youth and other motherfuckers yeah. to think like them, and then we gonna have way bigger problems and shit. Definitely. But. Damn. It's wild, man. Powerful. Man, could rally up the troops, huh? Dirty game, yeah. man. Yeah, the prominent people using YouTube is kids, man. So you, it's, it's like, let's say, it's and it's all geographical, right? So like the kids in the South are going to watch things that are related to their area. And then at that point, that hate speech can get into their minds and they can go back to, it can go so many different ways, bro. We don't need that in shit. some parts of the South, they still seeing people getting lynched, bro. Yeah. You, no, for real shit. It would just amplify that if you allow right. all that shit to be out there like that. Yeah, bro, and even even with the fresh and fit situation, I was like, them going back and forth with women and shit like that. Now that was trash, bro. No, no, that, that's what I didn't like about the show. No, listen, there's there's points on both sides when it comes down to anything. You get what I'm saying? But I'm saying that that alone was not enough to get them demonetized. You get what I'm saying? It seemed like once they bought on other motherfuckers. That's when they were like, uh-uh, time yeah, to cut they, your water. They was only bringing certain women on there, though. They wasn't bringing, like, the everyday woman on there that go to work and got her shit together. They bringing bitches who chase ballers and shit like that. I mean, that nigga, you, in, my, you in Miami, bro. Yeah, but it, uh, it's some working women in Miami, too. No, nigga. there's some boss bitches in Miami, Do you think too, that man? working boss women that are on their job is going to go sit on a panel with 20 girls and, and talk a relationship shit and all that? Shit, with them I, niggas? They not going to do probably that. Probably not, but right. if if if... You gonna have the right, the only the right fans models. You gonna have them girls that, that that want some clout that are gonna sit there and go up on there and do that shit. Yeah. Right, but you can't you can't let them represent all women though. You can bring them on here and tear them down, but no, not nobody. All women. I don't think that represents all women. I think they that, don't. But bring the everyday working woman on there though. I bet you they tear them niggas ass in shreds, bro, on everything. 